even with your temporary cold frame, it's still a point where you just may have to bring those plants inside. All right. Luckily, we <laughs> don't waste our money on furniture and things like that. So we have plenty of space in which to put our plants. All right. So we've been able to uh, salvage them, not letting them perish in the frigid temperatures. All right. So we bought our very sensitive plants inside. We got our lemon balm, curly, parsley. We got our mint, peppermint, and spearmint over there, including our cuttings. We have our aloe vera. We have a couple of uh, rosemary plants, some lemon thyme. We have uh, more mint right here. <laughs> we got quite a bit of plants inside. and We got some more in the windows in the back because they are going to need some sunlight. All right, it's okay to have your grow lights and your artificial light, but it's, our plants like nothing more than sunlight. Nothing better, I should say, than sunlight. They will accept these other uh, artificial forms of light. But you'll see as you uh, practice gardening, planting, you'll see that there's nothing like rainwater and there's nothing like sunlight. All right, so bring those plants inside if you can. Certain plants you can keep outside longer. Uh, your collards, your kale, your cabbage, those plants you can keep outside. All right, your brassicas. Keep those outside. And that's all we have today. We just wanted to let you know, all right, before it gets too cold, we're supposed to have a nice day tomorrow. We're supposed to get up to 70, but... Still, the nighttime temperatures dip down or tend to dip down in the 20s. And we want to make sure you don't lose your plants. After all, your plant is not only your food, but your medicine. This has been Daku Akabo Wa'akatu.